Welcome to Knicks.com. I'm Jonah Ballo with Jarrett Jack, who has uh, just signed a contract with the New York Knicks. And uh, Jarrett, when you looked at sort of the landscape of the NBA and potential options for you, and obviously the Knicks were looking for a point guard, why was this a fit for you? Um, you know, I, I just saw the, the, the direction that they were trying to go um, with recently acquired Scott Perry. And he reached out to, to my people and asked if I was interested and came in and worked out for, for a few weeks. And I guess they liked what they saw and, you know, trying to take some steps to move forward. As we uh, look ahead to the season, which is training camps right around the corner, how is your health and how are you uh, preparing for this upcoming year? I feel good. You know, get, finally get, being able to get back in the swing of things, play basketball for consecutive days with, with no setbacks. It's kind of refreshing and just looking forward to the upcoming season. I talked to Michael about this and his maturation and learning things uh, in the NBA. And now you're a veteran, he's a veteran. And some of those things that you learned over the years, and what can you take away from your time on different teams and uh, your experience in the NBA? Man, just, just understanding the journey of it all, the ups and downs, uh, the lows within the season, how we have to you know, pull together um, and get through th those adverse situations and understand that the Probably the ones that are the most difficult, probably the ones that are going to build the best part, part of the character of the team. So just looking forward to all of it, man. The obstacles, the ups and downs, the good points, and, you know, seeing how, how this team uh, withstands it all. You know, I found it interesting. I read a story about you and Steph Curry and how much he credits you to his growth and development when your time was there backing him up. And you really felt that that was an important role for you. And some guys, I don't know, they can take that, uh, you know, as like a backup guy or six-man guy and, and seeing a guy like Steph Curry uh, succeed. For you and, and that experience, why did that mean so much to you, and how did you see your role with uh, Steph? Man, I just try to help wherever I see see need, and uh, I think we always, well, I knew, or, or a lot of people knew what type of special talent Steph was, and, you know, he just had some other, other areas that I thought he probably just needed to be thrusted into, and I thought he always had those qualities, just maybe he wasn't confident enough in himself just to kind of step to the forefront and, and put him on display at full time, so... Um, the credit he gave me wasn't necessary. Like I said, I thought he had those things uh, from the jump, but, you know, I appreciate it all. You know, we have young point guard here, Frank Nielakina, and a young guy coming overseas. Uh, for you and with your experience in the NBA, what kind of things can you offer up to him that will help him in this uh, transition period into the NBA? Um, one, just understanding the position, you know, understanding uh, the task that's at hand each and every night with, you know, how point guard heavy the NBA is now and, just being up for the challenge, you know, he's a very, very talented kid, very, very young. And, uh, you know, I can give him all the game I got, but I think experience is going to be the best teacher for him. All right. How do you assess this roster? Uh, you know, the front office has built a young team and starting to rebuild the roster and, and shape it in the way that they would like to see fit. Tim Hardaway Jr. comes back, Chris Epps the European guys. And, of course, you talked about Frank Nielakina. Uh, what do you think about this roster and what you guys can accomplish this year? Man, I think they have a good, good mixture of uh, veteran guys, as well as some young, fresh talent. Um, and you know, I don't know. I don't. I don't like to put limits on anything. So if we come in here, work the hard, work work hard, mesh it well together. Who knows what can happen? All right. You were a member of the team that we don't talk about over there in New York and Brooklyn. <laughs> but uh, for you to play at the Garden with the New York jersey on uh, on your chest there and wearing that and and being the home team there, what does that mean to you? And in, in this opportunity at this point in your career, uh, very very special. You know, uh, the Garden was always a place that. I couldn't really describe the feeling to people when you walk onto it, but um, I always like to say it's the most nasty, dirtiest, ugliest, most beautiful place I've ever played in in my life. And um, man, I cherish every single time I got a chance to walk in between the lines as a visitor and now to be able to do it as, as a player amongst the team, man, it's gonna be a special, special feeling. Excellent stuff. We can't wait to catch up with you at training camp right around the corner next week. Thank you so much for your time. No problem, thank you. There he is, Jared Jack, right here on Knicks.com.